Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the Expedite Fans channel. I'm here to go quick taste of Princess Loot Pixel again times two. A randomly generated adventure game where you're running through a dungeon trying to do different things. There's actually three characters. Uh, the paladin is uh, trying to save a princess's kitten. A, the thief is trying to steal a crown and the warrior is trying to kill stuff. We're going to play as the warrior. As you see, they each have their own health and stuff like that. Uh, the thief has higher crit speed and luck, so more money, higher crits. The paladin actually gets an extra little health bar, a piece of armor, which I think regenerates at the end of each level. And then the warrior is just beefy. Uh, let's go. See, wanted the big bad. It's like a wolf or, yeah, glory. They're uh, uh, kill rats for glory. Uh, so I said ran uh, randomly generated earlier. It's lightly randomly generated because the tile sets, like, there are certain tiles, like this room will always have this enemy and always have this layout, always have these same traps, but it'll be placed differently in the sort of map that's going to be forming here. But as you can see, I have all my stuff here. Jump, attack, I can get bombs and stuff like that. I believe the thief starts with some bombs, uh, but let's go. I've actually beaten the first boss in the first two levels, or most of the uh, second level. So the way it works is a, a level, then a level and a boss, a level, and then I believe a level and a boss. I've gotten to the... I've gotten to 2-2, two, two, and then I died, essentially. There we go. Oh, it's a health, a heart. We don't need it right now. But yeah, so what I mean is this, this specific room will always be this specific room with that enemy in it. I don't know. I don't believe it'll always have a chest. Oh, bomb. Uh, and some areas do have secrets, but it won't always be in that same place. And of course, there'll be shops. They'll be in different spots and they'll have randomized loot, but they'll always have like four items. They'll always have two of these items here. This one I believe is actually a key and then two of these items. Uh, can't really afford anything right now, but you get the idea. Uh, so me not getting super far, uh, the game is not terribly hard. It does have some uh, questionable hitboxes and it really ramps up in the second area. So like this room will always have this. Oh, there we go. Uh, we actually do not have a key. If we get some more money, we can go buy and buy back and buy a key. But more often than not, you can, oops, you can go get one. You can find one fairly easy, especially in one of the secret things. They really like giving you keys. Binding of Isaac. So this game has a lot of reference, dang it, a lot of references to other games. Also, you get this dash, but there's no real way to tell when it's uh, done cooling down. If we die, we're going to switch over to the Paladin so you can see that real quick. But yeah, uh, there's like a Rick and Morty one. Uh, there's a Fez one. There's a Super Meat Boy one. We might backtrack and get that heart. heart. Uh, the first boss is actually kind of annoying until you figure out his pattern is essentially him going, doing a dash, doing another dash, and then doing a diagonal dash. And then he's super easy. However, the second area has these really annoying mushroom creatures that shoot little uh, arches, uh, like four little pellets into the air. Oh boy. Music's decent at least. Also watch these chains. Yeah. All right, let's go through here. All right, so this is the level that the boss is on. There we go. So sometimes this room will have a treasure chest, not this time. Come on. Oh, that's a game controller. That's uh, more damage, I believe. So before we pick that up, so you can see all my stats on here, I have 1.5 damage. I have 1.8 damage now. Uh, the dash does give you invulnerability, by the way. But once again, I really wish that there was, like, something that showed when it cooled down. This is my favorite trap. Ready? Whee! And we're done. Avoid it. So, like, here, we've already seen this room again. So you, you get the idea. Um, oh, I have nothing. If I wanted to, I can actually blow up this chest here, but the shopkeeper gets mad. You know what? still sells to me so 
I wonder if they'll do some uh, Link's Awakening sort of stuff where it's like, you will pay. Ooh, chest. Oh, well. See, like there, I don't really feel that he may have hit me. Some enemies are worse than others with that. I haven't really been looking for secrets. They're very, like, stick out a lot, though. Get some money. It's actually an achievement for getting 99 coins. I've gotten close, but... All right, boss time. And it's always this boss. We. All right, so he's not gonna... Dang it. Jump over, jump over, get to the corner, get to the corner. There you go, that's the boss fight. There we go, and we're done. Batarangs. So if you look in the bottom right, uh, like Binding of Isaac, uh, the item has a use, and then once you use it, if I, uh, for this one, I have to kill three enemies before I get uh, get it back. Got him. Oh. Also. Boom. All right, we're going to go through this door and see what we get. Okay, battle room. Get some rewards. Batarangs. Oh. So it like it touched my little horn, which was nah. So if you actually hit restart there, you can't pick a different character. So you actually have to go through. See, missing missing kitty. Who doesn't want to save the kitty? So if you look in the upper left there, I now have a, a little shield over one of my hearts, and my stats are different. Uh, also, once in a while, the uh, you will be spawned into a room where you'll just get hit. It's very rare, and I think it's only happened once or twice, but it's one specific room entering from one specific uh, side. Uh, I need the money. I'm sure you'll remember. Blue shield, health up. Uh, there's also once in a while rooms where you will have to trade hearts for an item, but more often, or every time that I've seen it, it's always had an item that would give you health. So you would trade, I, that's probably luck right there. You would actually trade a heart to get a heart back, essentially losing nothing at all. Oh, another battle room. Watch me mess this one up. focus on this no we're not so right there just now the bat's wing touched me so I don't know like what specifically counts as a hit nope maybe that it's the the hits delayed maybe I maybe that shot hit me while I was jumping and I per went through it and then it counts it as being hit I don't know it's not clear also the dashes don't charge any faster per characters There you go. So yeah, we encountered this room before. Oh, I don't like that room. There were specific rooms I really don't like. Dang it. Get some money. Yeah. There we go. Also, the... I'm assuming that the little uh, bubbles that are coming out of them are their like little speeches. So look how, see this one? Slightly darker. Uh, my favorite item so far is the, uh, what's it called? The steel boots that prevent you from taking spike damage. Uh oh, sorry, I meant to take the bubble. 
Don't know what it does. It doesn't tell you, which is annoying. See, that didn't touch me. I was just about to back away. That was a perfect uh, ver uh, visual of that. So yeah, the hitboxes are kind of weird. But anyways, I am ZeroJD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.